what's up y'all it's your boy simply food by ty and we are back with another video okay so look i'm gonna need y'all to just go on ahead and subscribe if you're new to this channel just get with it hit that subscribe button go ahead and just like this video because you're gonna want to be a part of this journey that's about to take place i am going to be exposing how reckless my skin is and I am about to start a new skin regimen and I'm going to take you guys along with me on the journey because in my research on trying to find different things for people with dry skin, especially African American men, couldn't really find anything. It, you know, couldn't, couldn't find nothing. So I realized that maybe that just means that your boy needs to be the one to make the video. I'm not a dermatologist. I am not an esthetician. So everybody calm down. Everybody, everybody calm down. But this is just going to be me doing a product review on some products that I'm going to be using in a new skin regimen that I'm going to be trying out. And I'm going to let you guys know what the results are after a full week of doing it. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I let you guys know what I'm using. Um, so that if you decide that you want to try any of it, you can help yourself to do so. Nothing that I'm going to discuss in this video I'm being sponsored by. Clearly, I am not a beauty guru. Um, but I am going to be talking about a lot of these products. So, uh, let's jump into the video. Okay, I'm back. All right, y'all. So let's let's just let's just jump right into it. So some of you guys may or may not know, but I have very dry skin. However, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder so I can see what I'm talking about. I don't feel like my skin is terrible, but I do feel like it could be better. My problem area has always been under my neck, mostly because I shave. So as a guy, you know, we end up getting razor bumps, stuff like that. But I've also just switched over to what uh to a different type of razor i'm actually using an electric shaver for the first time in my life but as you guys can see mm -hmm, i have these little problem areas where i get these bumps especially also like on my forehead my skin is very very dry so it's like you know what i'm a 31 year old black man i need to start a skin regimen to fix all of these problems because i don't think my skin is terrible but I know damn well that it could be 10,000 times better. So we're gonna fix that. So I wanna first talk about the cleanser that I'm going to be using. So I'm gonna be using the CeraVe's Foaming Facial Cleanser. Now, although this is from normal to oily skin, I get it, I know that I have dry skin, but what I've learned in all of my research is that people in particular with dry skin need to switch out their, fa their facial cleansers depending upon the season and the time of the year. So because this one is more foamy, that's what I need during the summertime because I need as much hydration as I possibly can get. So this here, let me get my face out of the way so that you guys can see it. This is the CeraVe's Facial Foaming Cleanser that I'm going to be using. Um, this is going to be my first step. So, of course, the first thing you're going to want to do is making sure that you are clearly washing your face because that's important. So, I'm going to try this one out. I've heard great things about this product. So, that's going to be step number one. Now, just so you guys know, this facial cleanser, I think, ran me about eight or nine dollars i think and this is a 16 ounce bottle here so that's a good amount i mean you're not gonna you're not you you're not gonna empty this out anytime soon so that's fine so that's gonna be step number one now mind you i'm gonna take us in the bathroom later on so that we can test out all of this stuff together but i just wanted to make sure that i went over everything so that i could really tell you guys what i'm going to be using now after i wash my face the next thing i'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a mask so that I can really let as much hydration as possible really seep into my skin. And after talking to a few of my esthetician friends and going to Sephora and talking to the people there, it has been pretty much unanimous that this Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask, um, this is a clinical skincare, that this is the one that I need to use. So 
let me zoom in here so that you guys can see that so this is going to be step number two after I cleanse my face I'm going to be then putting on this mask now just so you guys know for what I was told one of the better ways to use this especially during the summertime is if you pop this in the refrigerator it's already a very cooling mask to begin with of course because of the cucumber aspect but having this as a gel mask and it being cold on the skin is absolutely fabulous now i'm not an esthetician as i've said before but what i do know is is that anything cold really helps firm up the skin you know what i mean so around this point now we're starting to close up the pores and you know let the moisture and stuff soak in so that's the reason why i'm really looking forward to this now of course in this particular video i won't be it won't be cold because i'm opening it in front of you guys however starting tomorrow for the rest of the week while i'm doing the review i will have this in the refrigerator so i'll let you guys know how that is now the pricing on this peter thomas Roth, like i said now that i got so the CeraVe's the facial cleanser I got from Target. Everything else that I'm about to discuss except for one other item, I all, I'm sorry, actually no. I have one, two, three, four, five. Five of these items I got from Sephora and I'm gonna make sure I run down the pricing for you guys. So for the Peter Thomas Roth, that mask cost $55, you guys. It's $55. It's 150 milliliters. It's five fluid ounces. But this is the thing. What I've learned is you cannot go cheap when it comes down to what you're using on your face. You, I mean, like, you just... You just can't. Especially if you're somebody like me that has sensitive skin, using anything cheap on your face is a recipe for disaster, and I'm not down for that. Now, on the flip side of that, that does not mean that y'all need to go out here spending $1,000 on skincare, because not everything that's high-end is also the best, if that makes sense. So you kind of got to find the balance for yourself because what I've learned, especially from like as a kid, not everything that works for somebody else is going to work for you. Like when I was younger, my mom used to use Proactive and she used to stay trying to get me to use that stuff and it broke me out terribly. So even some of the things that I'm listing in this video, although it might work wonderfully for me, it might not do the same for you. So, so that's going to be step number two. So after I do the mask, the next thing I want to do is I want to tone my skin. I want to bring the pH level and all of that stuff back down to normal, kind of balance my skin out, you know, kind of get all this coloring and everything as, as consistent as possible. Now this right here is one thing that I am very, very, very excited to use because I am obsessed with using any type of rose water or rose infused product. And as I was Googling and doing my research and talking to my friends, I have been told consistently that this facial toner is hands down the best one on the market. So I'm very, very excited to use this product. Now this is the Fresh Rose Deep, hy uh, Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I want to show you guys the box first, just in case. All right, come on lighting. Just in case any of you guys decide that you want to try it out. This is what the box looks like. And now let me go ahead and show you guys what the actual bottle itself looks like. So this is the Rose Deep Hydration. Uh, let me hide my face. So this is the bottle here. This is the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I am very, very excited to use it. As you guys can see, it actually has bits and pieces of roses in it. And I'm just, I'm really looking forward to using this. Now this is... Two, uh, 250 milliliters, this is 8.4 fluid ounces. Um, and you don't have to use a lot of this. Toner is not something that you're like drenching on your skin. You're gonna use um, like a piece of cotton or something like that and kind of just kind of press it in to your face. This isn't something you wanna just pour in your hand and have a whole bunch of liquid. Like your face shouldn't be soaking wet after you use this. Now the price for this is uh, $45. Now mind you, they do have a smaller size of this. I think it's a travel size. So honestly, if you just wanna test it out to see if it even works for your face, by all means, honey. Do you, boo, do you. So, so far, number one, the facial cleanser. Number two will be applying the mask. Number three is going to be applying the toner. Now, after we're done that, 
The next thing that I like to do, now this is a product that I'm very accustomed to. I actually use this all the time, so this isn't really something new. But this Mario but, uh, Badescu, Badescu, I don't really know how he says his last name, but this rose water spray with aloe and herbs is everything. If it is a hot summer day and you need to get your skin together or if you just feel dry or if you just want to feel fancy or refresh for a split second, this spray right here is absolutely everything and it's not that expensive. You can get it from Nordstrom Rack sometimes for like as low as like three or four dollars and they tend to always have it. Um, you can also get it from, I think you can get it, I sometimes I buy it in bulk on Amazon but I think you can get it at Target and I'm sure you can get it at some of the beauty supply stores because it's a very well-known brand. Okay, so here is the actual bottle itself just so that you guys can see it. Um, this facial spray is absolutely everything. I just, I love the way it makes me feel. During the summertime, I keep a little travel size one in my bag just so that if I ever feel like completely dried out, I just do a little spritz of this and it works absolutely amazingly. Now, this is an eight, um, an eight ounce bottle, 236 milliliters. Um, and this is for all skin types, by the way, which is the other reason why I really, really love this. Um, this, like I said, is not that expensive, so that's gonna be step number four. Now, after step number four, as you guys may or may not know, I take real pride in my lips, boo. I take, I take real, 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 real pride in what I got going on with these lips here. So I wanna show you guys three of the products that I use to um, keep these lips together because, mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. The lips are on point, you know what I mean? And I want your lips to be just like that. So this product I get on Amazon, but I'm also certain that you can probably get this in like Ulta or Sephora or Target maybe, but I was by mine online. This is the ultra the ultra sexy scrub. This is an exfoliant So it's just like a lip scrub. Honestly, you also don't really have to buy this. You can easily make this homemade you guys um, If you just type in DIY lip scrubs online There's so many of them and literally pretty much all of them work lip scrubs are not really something that you need to necessarily go out and buy Unless you like it for the convenience of it, which is why I do and it's also not that expensive um, So this is made by handmade heroes and this one has um, jojoba, avocado oil. It also has some coconut oil in it. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely everything. So this is what the little jar looks like. It's a very tiny jar, but a little bit goes a long ways. Now, this is not something that I would do every single day. I would only do this as needed. So if you're feeling like your lips are extra dry, extra crusty, okay, I need this one to stay focused. There we go. Uh, if it feels like your lips are getting crusty, then just do this. It'll help get rid of all of the excess skin. Um, it'll help get rid of all of the excess skin, which is the reason why I like it. I like for my lips to be nice and smooth at all times. I cannot stand seeing somebody with flakes of fucking skin dripping off of their mouth. I think it's disgusting. So that's the reason why I like to use this. Now, I have another product that I feel like I might have left behind and I really hope that I did not. Oh no. I didn't leave it. One second. So after you would use that scrub, typically you would put on like a moisturizer or something of some kind because of course it's gonna leave your lips really raw. So you wanna make sure they're hydrated. So I have two different things that I do. If I do the scrub at in the morning, pretty much I kind of use this all day long anyhow. But once again, because I love a good plump, juicy lip, I don't know who's calling me right now. Um, but because I love a good plump juicy lip, I use the Grande Cosmetics, the Grande Lip Plumper. Now this is a hydrating lip plumper. Now I know there were some models back in the day that I think like had people's lips burning and stinging. I don't know what type of chemicals they had in it, but this one doesn't do that. And they also make it known on the side of the box that this one says instant pump, no stings attached. So make sure you are looking for that version because I don't know what the other stuff was that people were using. I've never experienced that. But this is the Lip Grande um, Plump. Now this, it kind of goes on kind of like a, um, kind of just like a lip gloss. 
uh, but you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a, a long way. So you don't want to use this stuff and be like, don't do that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is not lip gloss. Don't treat it as lip gloss. Don't let your friends try to tell you it's lip gloss. Don't do it. This is all, like, I know people that use this all day long, but I just think that's unnecessary. Like, just get a really good chapstick or something like that to be using throughout the day. I would not advise using this. Also because it's just too expensive to be using as a lip gloss. But this is what the little, this is what the bottle looks like. This is what it looks like here. Now, if you look at my thumb at the bottom, that little black button that my, that it's resting on, that you just pump in like five or six times and then the liquid's gonna come out of the top here. I'm gonna show you guys, like I said, we're gonna go into the bathroom in a few minutes um, and I'll show you guys exactly how to use it. Um, but yeah, so this is what the bottle looks like. So this is pretty much what I use during the day. Like I'll only apply this maybe once or twice a day. I don't really apply this that often. Now at night, like at the end of the day when I'm like laying down, I know I'm done eating, I've done the whole brush the teeth situation, all that's done. Then I get into one of my more favorite products. Now baby, this here is kind of bad and bougie. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is, this is kind of bougie but it's absolutely everything and I absolutely love it. Oh, just so you guys know, the price on the Lip Plumpa was $27. And that is the reason, my friends, why this is not something that you want to be using as a lip gloss because I don't know about you, but I would not be paying $27 for no lip gloss that I'm gonna be using all day, every day, you know what I mean? Don't do that to yourself. So that's $27. Now, however, like I said, at night, or, or, honestly, at the beginning of the day, you could also do this as well. Like, if you know you're going to be outside, if you know that, you know, um, the, uh, the temperature wherever you are is kind of rough, and you know it's really, really dry, and if you know that you're prone to having really dry lips, this lip mask might be something that might be good for you to use every single day. I'm not going to lie to you. This product I wouldn't mind using every day. The other one I would not. This is the Laneige Sleeping Care Lip Sleeping Mask. Now, although this says it's a sleeping mask, not many people that I know actually use it as a sleeping mask because most of the time, no matter how much you put on when you wake up in the morning, it's going to be all gone anyway. And to me, that's such a waste of product because it does work really well as like a lip gloss or like a chapstick. Once again, I don't use these products as lip gloss or chapstick. I'm just saying that the texture of the way they go on kind of kind of reflects a chapstick or a lipstick. So I wouldn't want to waste a product like this to be on my lips and nobody be able to see it. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so here's the box here. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Now, this comes in like six or seven different flavors. I'm using the original. Uh, I think there's also Berry and some other stuff like that. Uh, but this stuff is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you what the inside of this looks like now. So this is the actual Laneige lip mask right here. This is the pretty pink jar. I think it's absolutely everything. And then if you open it up on the inside, take this little white part out. As you can see, it's a really nice uh, cream base. It's not liquidy. Also, I have learned online that people need to not be buying this particular product on Amazon or anything like that. I have been told that there is a company supposedly that's out there. Sorry if the lights and stuff are adjusting. I don't have my ring light up today because I didn't feel like it. And it looks like a storm is coming in, so it's a bit of an overcast. Um, first of all, why do I feel like I'm talking like I'm a damn beauty guru? I'm over it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I've been told that there are a lot of people on Amazon selling a fake version of this, and it looks just like this. But when you open it, the inside is completely liquefied and it's just not good. Just so you know, this also comes with a little, a mini brush and applicator. We will also do this in the bathroom as well today. I probably will do the lip mask instead of the lip plumper in the video, just so that you guys can see how this applies. Whew, I know, see this is the reason why a lot of people don't do skincare treatments because it seems like there's so many steps. But I didn't wanna rush through this video because I wanted to really take the time to talk to you guys about all of this stuff so that when we go in the bathroom and do it, I'm probably just going to play some music in the background just so that you guys can see how the products go on. And I'll probably talk to you guys about how I feel about them, but I really wanted to take the time 
to really talk about the products that I'm going to be using. So the next thing I want to show you guys, and actually this is also the last step is of course the moisturizer. You can't go through all of these steps and then not put on a moisturizer, especially if you have dry skin. But honestly, if you have any skin, I would assume you need to be putting on moisturizer, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a cheaper version and a more expensive version. Um, now, I for the cheaper version, I'm gonna show you guys this uh, Nivea, hold on, let me see if I can zoom it in. The Nivea Soft. Now, this is a moisturizer. I was seeing a few different people do reviews on this. Supposedly, the Nivea Soft is 10,000 times better than just the regular Nivea product. Um, but it comes in this little tiny jar, just like so. Um, and it's a really thick, thick cream. Um, so I wouldn't apply too much of that. Now, if you're in a pinch, I've been told that this stuff is actually really, really good for the face. So I would, I would say try it out. Why not? Now I'm, however, I'm going to be trying out the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisturizing Cream, Calming Plus Hydrating. Now this is 50 milliliters, this is 1.7 fluid ounces, and this stuff was $39. Now, I get it, I know y'all like, Tobias, it sounds like you might have just spent over 200 something dollars on all these skincare products. You would be correct. However, comma, I have learned once again that if I'm gonna be on YouTube and having this camera up in my face 24 seven, I can't have stuff like this. I can't have, uh-uh, I can't have bumps like that. I can't have blemishes, I can't, I can't have all of that. I can't have all this stuff on my neck. See, I'm trying to be real with y'all, you know what I mean? I, I, I ain't no model over here, okay? So, I'm a real person that goes through real skin troubles just like everybody else in the world. And when you turn a certain age, baby, you gotta take care of your skin. Honestly, we should be taking care of our skin at a very young age so that these type of issues don't even come up, for real, for real. But I wasn't doing that, and so now I'm gonna fix it. Anywho, let me show you guys. Uh... So, this is the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle moisturizing cream now i am very excited to use this now i will say i was already told straight up that this stuff also works really best when it's refrigerated so i'm looking forward to trying that tomorrow because after i do this video with you guys today i'm gonna put both this and the face mask in the fridge um and then test them out again of course tomorrow but i'm really looking forward to this um i was told that this is, this is the one. This is definitely the one. So I'm gonna open this up because I want you guys to see the little jar. Alrighty guys, so here is the jar. Now, as you guys can see, this is a very tiny jar, of course, but you guys know, when you're using higher quality stuff, typically for the most part, you don't really have to use a lot of it. That's kind of the perk of using stuff that's a little bit on the higher end you don't have to use as much to get the same result and i do i did also purchase a little applicator brush here um just so that i can put this stuff on i've been told that it's really really bad to be sticking your fingers and stuff inside these products just because um your fingers carry a lot of bacteria and dead skin cells and stuff and you don't want that to get inside of the product okay so now that i have gone over all the products let me just run them down one more time so step one of course is going to be the cerave's foaming facial cleanser that's going to be step one after we do the face wash we're then going to follow that up with the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. That's gonna be step two. After that, we are then gonna focus on toning the skin to bring everything back down pH levels with the Fresh Rose Hydration Facial Toner. That's gonna be step three. Then I'm gonna follow that up, of course, with some rose water spray. Then at that point, I'm gonna focus on the lips where Depending on the day and the time, I will then decide if I'm going to do a lip scrub and then follow the lip scrub with either a lip mask or just my basic limp plumper. So these three products are ones that I kind of use depending upon the day or if you know I actually need them. That's really an as needed thing. And then of course, lastly, we will then apply our Banana Souffle Moisture Cream Glow Recipe moisturizer so what i'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna go in the bathroom and test all of these products out for you guys and I'm gonna let you guys know how that is but what I want you guys to do is to make sure that you subscribe I want to make sure that you guys like this video because I am going to post the actual trying all of this stuff out in a few days there's gonna be a part two to this people there's gonna be a part two so because I don't want this one particular video to be like three hours long and this is going to be a process of actually testing everything out but I am really looking forward to testing all of these products out I am very excited to have you guys on this very vulnerable journey with me as I said before in the beginning of the video I am NOT a dermatologist I am NOT an esthetician nor do I have flawless skin as you guys can see I got bumps here little blemishes there you know I got a lot of shit going on but all you can do is simply take the time to actually research put in the effort to try to fix it that's all you can do any foolish comments down in the comment section you guys just ignore them pay them no mind because y'all already know if I want to clap back I will if I need to uh-huh Look, I love you guys so much. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Simply Food by T.Y. If you're one of my returning subscribers, y'all babies know I love y'all so much. And as always, y'all babies, stay cute and take care. Bye, guys. I will see y'all in part two when we actually put all of these products to the test. Slaying in the kitchen. Simply Food by T.Y. We hope that you enjoyed it. Simply Food by T.Y. If you haven't took the time, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Simply Food.